All right, y'all. So listen, we about to run it up. Today's episode is about to be on. What we talk about, guys? What the fuck is we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> y'all, listen. We about to talk about this Max minor attractive persons, this pedophilia stuff. P- pedo, pedo, the P word. Yeah, pedo. pedo. That's better. Max. Because apparently Ari Spears and Tiffany Haddish, their uh, their lawsuit has been dropped. Apparently, uh, I don't know. So anyway, yeah, I don't know. back to the channel. It's Sai J. You're welcome her. back. Yeah, her. You too. And Monet. Okay. And Monet. <laughs> hey, cause you ready for this shit? You ready? Yes. Cause you already know what we about to do. Cause. We about to ride that wave, 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 wave. Right on through this scandalous Saturday commentary. Okay, sir. So let's ride this wave. All right, let's roll. We got to roll this intro, y'all, and jump into it. All right, let's roll. This motherfucking bitch right now, like, it's been a long motherfucking week at work. I'm tired of working these nine to fuck the fives. I'm ready. Cut up. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm. Listen. She got her hands in the air and she's shaking that ass. She take it down to the ground. I know my bitch Ray. Cut up. She's swinging that weed. She got her middle fingers up and not giving a fuck. I know my bitch Ray. Cut up. Rich bitch. Cut up. But real bitch. Cut up. Uh huh. She really, really act a fool with it. Cut up. A cut up. A bitch. Shut up. Yeah. We really, really act a fool. Spin to bring the girls out that be shaking that ass. Uh-huh. Spin to bring the niggas out that be spinning that cash. Ding. Call a friend, pull up. Yeah, we all at the club. We yeah. going up all night and we don't get no fuck. Say, ooh, ah, uh, let me see what you got. Ooh, ah, uh, uh, baby, give me my guts. I say, ooh, ah, uh, let me call it. Warning. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotape, or video discs under certain circumstances without authorization of the copyright holder. This infringement of copyright is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news, recording, teaching, and parody. All records, footage, and resources used are all public records researched and compiled all together for awareness, educational, and entertainment purposes of the video. Yeah. All right. Welcome back, y'all. Um, so we just ran a little intro real quick so we could jump into this shit. So right now, what we got to go in on is um the fact that basically, uh oh no, it's looking like a little shakedown for a second. I mean, mm-hmm. they done throw away the lawsuit. Like, what happened? But you know, um, with these whole celebrities and things like this. It's always a, a ritualistic type of situation going on. Like they get caught up in some mess, and then all of a sudden shit is just thrown out the window or you don't hear about it no more until they come out with some uh they come out with a new movie or whatever whatever else they're doing. Song, whatever. But anyway, let's jump into this. It says Tiffany Haddish um says she lost everything over the sexual abuse. Sexual abuse. I can never remember that. Like <laughs> Get rid of certain words. Anyway, the sex, the sexual abuse lawsuit. All of my gigs are going to be. That's what she said, y'all. So let's jump into it. Can't say gigs, but I say these guys. <laughs> so this is what Tiffany Haddish is alleging. Okay, it says Tiffany Haddish is speaking out after the lawsuit against her and Ari Spears. Alleging child sexual abuse has been dismissed. While talking to TMZ inside Los Angeles International Airport, LAX, she explained she's relieved the suit is dismissed, but said it hurt her career. The reporter asked if any damages was done to her career, although it's behind her now. Oh, I lost everything. All of my gigs are going B. Everything is going. (laughs) She said... That's what Tiffany said before walking away. Told the reporter she did what she do. She didn't have a job. B. Thoughts, roommate. 
All right, so um, yeah, this man going to just going to repeat what I just said. But yeah. On Instagram, Spears will repost a headline from the Shade Room that stated that the lawsuit has been dismissed. Spears will go on to caption the Instagram post. I hope y'all keep that same energy. I like it. everything. So, all my gigs gone. Everything. But now that they changed face, you know, you feel like you regain your. You know. I don't have no time. According to TMZ, who obtained court documents that the plaintiff wants the judge to dismiss the case with prejudice, meaning that it cannot be refiled again and the case against Haddison Spears has ended. Jane Doe will go on to issue a statement. My family and I have known Tiffany Haddison for many years, and we now know that she would never harm me or my brother or help anyone else do anything that could harm us. We wish Tiffany the best and are glad that we can all put this behind us. The lawsuit that was filed in late August claimed that both Jane Doe and her younger brother, John Doe, were groomed by Haddish and Spears to film comedy skits while they were underage. Jane and John Doe were at the ages of 14 and 17, respectively, at the time. Once again involved Jane Doe simulating oral sex with a sandwich. The plaintiff claimed that Haddish was a longtime family friend and was told that the skits film could be used as a part of a reel for a Nickelodeon audition. Another call through a pedophile's eyes involved John Doe being dropped off at the residence of a pedophile played by Ari Spears. According to People, the court filing claims that John Doe was allegedly molested by Spears in 2014. The court documents claim that Haddish witnessed the alleged incident and aided, abetted, and watched Spears sexually molest a child on camera. When news first broke, representatives for Haddison Spears denied the allegations. Andrew Brettler said that the plaintiff's mother had been attempting to pursue this case for several years, while Spears' attorney, Deborah Oakery, stated that her client wouldn't fall for any shakedown. Haddish and Spears were being sued for intentional infliction of emotional distress, gross negligence, sexual battery, sexual harassment, and sexual abuse of a minor. In addition, Haddish was also sued for negligent supervision, failure to warn, breach of fiduciary duty, and constructive fraud. So, in which it was thrown out. But what do you think about this shit, sir? Uh, uh, already. Uh, why do you think they threw this out? Like, what, what, what do you think about this? I, I definitely think there was a payout. I'm going to spark my that, huh? I said I'm going to spark my cigarette is what I think. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I think that it was a payout. And I also think that it just comes off to me like she's really quick to comment about it. And it's like, yeah, I don't have no jobs. This and this and the third. But it's like, really? I mean, I don't think she's jobless. Feel like she's trying to she's trying to I don't know if I want to say I don't really want to say safe face, but she's trying to do damage control. So it's like, I'm going to just say that I'm doing bad. I'm bad off right now. So that way everybody can feel the sympathy of, dang, you know, they took you to court for this. And now, even though it came out this way, you're still suffering. Oh, you don't got a job here. I'll look out for you. You know what I'm saying? But Speaking of that, you but, don't got a job. I'll look out for you. Lucy came out. I know. I see and, that. Yeah. He's trying to, uh, basically, he like, he's going to give her a job. And... <laughs> You can I mean, as a businessman, it's smart. As a business individual yeah. in general, it's smart. Yeah, because yeah, right yeah, now, yeah. He's, I mean, everybody's talking about her. So he put her on, they're going to they flock to what she yeah. want and look at it. Because everybody's going to be curious. Yeah. But you got to get it while it's hot yeah. now. Because after that, nobody going to see her. I don't think nobody, everything, uh, her reputation to an extent is ruined because everything that you see of her, it's gonna, you're going to go back to that. Yeah, this is. This so everything else she's done is erased. Like, I can't even remember. Things that she's host and things that she's done. You know what I'm saying? I mean, let's just clear. I don't think I ever knew Tiffany had his did or was like girls trip. Beaching in was girls trip. That's it. Yeah. I don't like I mean, any other thing that she has done. I don't like. I don't even know. I don't. Yeah, I seen that one. Uh, she had I that she one ran off the comedy thing. doing another thing. I don't know. She had that little thing with the kids when she said the kids come up and they would do little talents or that. something. Yeah, you I seen that once in a blue, but that was it. That was yeah. it. I mean, it wouldn't, I don't know. I just, yeah, no, nah, nothing that really ever. sparked my attention. Like, yo, did you see nothing like that? Nah. She's more infamous for her interview it, it, to me. Like, it's like, like her interview about the whole going to Beyonce's party. Like, that sparked yeah, my Like, she's more, you, yeah, right? so, so she's more like, a, she's good as being like the, the fly on the wall in a sense. Right. Mm hmm. She's like the backup girl or something. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but, I think I'm starting to, okay. Now hear me out. Because because to, to, to some of these viewers, this might sound crazy, but at the same time, I don't think it's so crazy, right? 
I started listening to the Night and Day Network. And they were saying that um that basically, you know, they can't have more than one big it person uh when they're black in the industry for singing or um acting, whatever. You know, it's always like one big person, like mm-hmm. Monique, for instance, like, and they talk about it in here. But basically, once one gets blackballed, they got to push another one into the forefront. Then once that one gets blackballed, they push another one into their spot. Um, Monique and her have been fighting over this top spot or whatever. They had a little beef behind the scenes, which, of course, people don't really know about. But um, everything with the industry is like a fake. Pick one, choose one. And it's like a um, like they're reacting everything, even like. Okay. Even like the Bible times, right? They like mm-hmm. react the Bible, but in a sense of on the opposite side, demonic shit, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, this shit happened so many years ago, right? And all of a sudden, this shit is just dismissed. They're putting a, um, what is it, like an NDA? They can't talk about it or whatever after that because they done been paid out, right? Right. I'm thinking, what if this was all used to like push, push, push a certain narrative, push a certain agenda in which they talk about this too, right? Where it's always agenda-based with these celebrities and things, right? And when they get rid of stuff, you see like when they do something, stuff just fall, like whatever they did, it just goes out the window all of a sudden. Nobody remembers it. And then next thing you know, they're out with a big thing, a big movie or a big, big role or whatever. These people who would have put her in um, this top- Power positions. Yeah, mm-hmm. this top position, they knew about everything that was going on because they said this is old. So why is it that y'all knew what it you y'all knew what it was and y'all kept her well, y'all pushed her into this spot, this high mm-hmm. position type spot, right? Um, but now that everybody's kind of like revisiting the thing and everybody's like it's more blown up now, now y'all want to pull all of her gigs. Why is that? Um it seems to me is it seems to me like they put all these certain things in place already before it even happened. I and, mean, well, she's be, she's being made an example of. Yeah, you know what I mean. And uh, again, when you're not in power, and you're what you know most would call a puppet, you you're in a position where at any moment, if they have something on you, they can just put it out. Because um, that's what I was trying to get to the source of who really put it out, not the not that website mm-hmm. but who actually I think he did he might have he because really a lot did. of them a lot a lot of them will take that fall because they already know that's in the tuck boom it's gonna get used against them and then somehow their career automatically elevates and that's the thing this is the thing right where I feel like okay we'll 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 keep this in the tuck but I feel like with the industry, like I said before, they always have to do ritualistic things to get a buzz because this is what it's like about in their whole little industry. Levels to it. Mm-hmm. Levels, right? I even kind of, I'm starting to feel like maybe even the mom kind of like, she knew all this shit was going on. I mean, like they they got paid for it years ago where the mom got paid a little bit of something. Now the door is out getting paid and now this is dismissed, right? What if they knew all this? What if she knew all this shit was going on, right? And um, because it seems so agenda based, like when they go into this whole topic, right, you'll see they talk about the maps, which is the minor attractive persons, right? Minor attractive persons is just a new word for pedophilia, okay, for a pedo. So because the industry is like agenda based, everything they do is gender based. And everything that they do is like pretty much fake. It's always like they have to act just like the whole Again, Kim Kardashian thing with coming up with this whole, oh, there's more tapes, but there's really no fucking tape, right? What if they, shit, they were pretty much used as a goat, and now because it's so old and they're so much older, it's like they're all playing a fucking part to push this whole pedo thing, right? Because why all of a sudden is it now dismissed? Now it's like, what, about to just go into a disappearance? It's like they want everybody to be okay with certain shit that they're doing. Mm-hmm. In which it's it's yeah. almost like getting a a, a pass. Like, yeah, yeah this it's happened. Like, it's like, how can I put it? Okay, if something happened to me when I was younger, right? Or we already kind of been paid off or whatever. We we've gotten past it because years later they come back out with having a problem with it. 
But now it's kind of like, okay, we can use what happened to us when we was younger to kind of get a little position or get money out of it, right? Mm -hmm. And then they also are pushing an agenda. So they're getting something out of it too. And the industry is getting something out of it too because they're trying to persuade a whole masses of people of going in a certain direction, which would be to allow pedophilia to go on or become desensitized to pedophilia. Um, if this happened so long ago, think that maybe it would be, uh, uh, I guess, beneficial to everybody if we come back out with this right and then we're pushing this agenda. But people will think it's a big thing, but then we'll dismiss it. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I hope yeah, that they're, they're, slow, I they're slowly <laughs> trying to open us up to it. That's why I think. Yeah, it's like, yeah, this happened to them. And yeah, they're probably, you know, they probably had whatever feelings they had about it before. But right, because it was a shock value. So now you come back out with this and then you shut the hell up after y'all done did all this and just are okay with the payment. And now well, they need to, they need it. I think it was a tester to see how much of a shock value there was going to be because that too. they already assumed it was going to go in a sense bad, right? People mm-hmm. were going to be against it. Oh, my goodness. The sexual acts. However, we all know that things have been happening behind the scenes. This is just the first time where we have some type of recording. Yeah. So. Um, get on the back. Oh. Uh, <laughs> in the industry. I said they're getting a pat on the back in the industry. If you ask me. Right. This is like- they get a little slap on the wrist because we're like, oh, we need to use y'all. We need to use you. Mm-hmm. And they get a little slap on the wrist. And like you said, they're slowly trying to. Maneuver this whole, what's it called? You called it a uh, match. Uh, yeah, minor attractive persons, and we going there. To we go. Y'all exactly what that is. Yeah, we'll break all that down. But they slowly trying to bring that into all. I think they're trying to bring it all into a collection in order to make us more comfortable, because they're going to do it regardless. <laughs> I mean, that's just what it's going to be. I mean, we're seeing things on cartoons we're seeing things on movies you know it's just getting more explicit everything i don't see the whole age thing anymore remember you used to see the uh the before something oh, yeah. uh-huh. the what's that called the, uh, the um, maturity level on it or whatever you don't even see those TV no more they don't exist no more uh mature uh content or adult uh-huh. yeah, it, oh, you it's a rapid that. Oh, that's, yeah you're right going to the side and haven't seen that in a long time. Nope, me neither. Mm-hmm. That is wow. Interesting. That is interesting. So I don't know. I'm gonna put this on y'all like this. Everything that we see, as far as like these videos go, um, like when they have these big uh it's almost like publicity stunt. This is what I would mm-hmm. kind of like call it is like a publicity stunt because you come out with all this, all this extra, y'all fighting it with, with your lawyers and stuff like that. But then y'all dismiss it. If it was that much serious to you, why would you dismiss it? Unless there's another agenda. That's how I feel about it. I mean, to be truthfully honest, I wouldn't dismiss something that I felt so, like, heartfelt about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this really messed me up. Why would you dismiss it? Even yes, for the money. Because the money they was asking for wasn't even a lot the first time. What, 15000 I wonder what they even got paid. We don't even know that. We don't know. Yeah, it ain't going to disclose nothing. All right, well, let's go on. I'm we hoping it's more than some 15000 And the last video we just watched was from um, Comedy, um, what was it? Comedy, yeah. Comedy, damn it. I want to say Comedy Central, but that Me was- Me too, that's what the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I hate using comedy people's Central. content and not giving them the shout out for um, their, their information mm-hmm. and shit that they bring forward. I don't know. I'm gonna go back and figure out before this video is over, and I'm gonna let y'all know because yeah, um, our bad, our bad. I don't want people looking at my stuff and say, "Oh, they just taking our stuff." But they they all it. Uh-huh. They got it from. Anyway, oh, that, yeah. that, that's that, going that, to cut it. Shout out to our favorites because you know this is our thing. We stay. We got to put a uh, no, night and day <laughs> break in here. <laughs> what up, though? So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so we got this night and day network. So we got to let them run run through a little bit because this is about to run into our next topic. Our next little segment that we about to talk about, which is the minor attractive persons or peoples or whatever they call it. But they're trying to implement basically the maps or minor attractive persons is um, basically a, a, an adult that is attractive to an underage uh, child or person. So 
And they're basically trying to say that um, we can't help who we're attracted to or we can't help um, who we like or what we like or whatever. So basically, these adults are liking underage children, which is the same definition for pedophile. And we'll go into that too. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's all the fucking same. But they're trying to make it to where it's uh, normalized and they're trying to add it into the the L, the, is it LGBTQ, LGBTQ or LGBT? plus community? LGBT. Yeah, mm-hmm. They're trying to add it in with their community, basically. Uh-huh. And, um, they're not happy about that shit, but they're trying, this is what they're trying to do. But mm-hmm. let's listen to what uh, Night and Day Network got to say, because yeah, these are, this, this, this is the team right here. So we rolling with them. So let's listen. Folks who fought against Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears have been dismissed. <laughs> they about to get off scot-free. Right. But the woman who sued them, both of them has also issued a statement. Wow. The Jane Doe did not have anything to say about Aries in her remarks. This shit sound like some yeah, this shit or payoff, payoffs. It seemed, it seemed like the judge got is involved. The the uh, like the I'm guaranteed a lot of palms got greased. A lot of palms got greased because it ain't like Tiffany Haddish ain't a, a multi millionaire. She can easily just get them a million bucks to shut up. And that statement that she made seemed like that was written by yeah. by uh by uh Aries Spears and Tiffany Haddish lawyers. Like yeah. say this in court. Yeah, you know I mean, gave him the gave him the bread and then said, Look, here, say this. Yo, this 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 shit is wild, man. Damn. This shit is wild, man. And it, look what this nigga Aries Spears look said. Aries Spears look, said. look what this nigga Aries Spears Luger, said. Say. Like her, freak. <laughs> Now he, now he, this the post he posted this from the chain room on his page, but look what his caption say. They stupid losing black, great. Look, <laughs> yeah, they stupid. What that nigga say? I, I hope y'all keep the same that. energy. I hope y'all keep that same energy. Billions he wrote. Tiffany Haddish and Aries Spears are no longer fighting a child molestation lawsuit against them because we've learned that Jane Doe filed the suit has dismissed dismissed it for good. You you guarantee ain't nobody just dim- dismissing no case. So it's like either somebody leaned on them and threatened them, mm-hmm. or the or the or palm or greed or palms got greased. Both, both. Because yeah, being those pen now I'm not now and I'm thinking it's like there's more on Tiffany had it because she's more into the in, she's more deep into the industry than Aerie Spears is. Like she's Aries higher up panda. and she got a lot of friends in it in the, in that business. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, a lot, lot of so-called friends. You I mean, look who her lawyer was. was. In, in, in case exactly. y'all don't know who her lawyer, who is her lawyer? Let, let them know who her Prince lawyer Charles, is. Prince Charles, right? Yeah. Uh, nah, it was uh, <laughs> Prince, Prince Andrew. <laughs> Prince yep, Andrew, Prince Andrew Andrews, lawyer. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. For the whole Epstein thing. <laughs> how how did she? How was she able to get that same lawyer that the that the royals are using overseas? Uh, exactly. Like your money from somewhere. What? Connected. Connected. What? This nigga talking about what? Let me goddamn pedal panda out this bitch. Let me play. Here he is the pedal panda. Let me see if I could play a little bit of what this nigga said on his uh podcast. In the dirty ass. So now they're talking about. They go from that to what uh Aries Spears responded with. And Aries Spears really didn't um he really didn't talk about the lawsuit or whatever after um after the lawsuit got thrown out. This is more so what he was talking about. He decided to focus in on the fact that everybody was calling him gay and stuff like that with this whole situation. Uh this ninja Aries is crazy. Keep pushing. I didn't and still don't think you're gay. You talk about Gemma too much to be gay. As far as the skit, while I don't agree with the setup, I get that your intentions were genuine. Fuck all these robots online trying to tear you down. Ugly bitches calling you ugly dudes, taking a for Lizzo. That's disgusting in my opinion. It's like Patrice O'Neill said, social media has messed up the game. Nobody's have, nobody's have unwarranted access to celebrities. Legally, I agree with the silence, uh, but personally, I would be going to war with these assholes, right or wrong. Um, <clears throat> I'm not letting uh, just anyone talk crazy to me. Now we're trying to push the narrative 
Now they're trying to push the narrative that you're gay based off the music video. I am beyond sick of these times we're living in. But it is what it is. Keep your head up and try to stay positive. On another note, Jay-Z was bigger than in New York in the 90s. I was young at the time, but Ninjas was bumping Jay like that down here until maybe the blueprint. He is a better rapper lyrically than Pac, but Jay-Z don't have too many dear mamas. Keep your heads up or smile. I understand the bias, though, but you can't compare 90 to Jay-Z to Pac. Sorry for the long email. Uh, but let me address this real quick. Listen, man, um... I, I, you know, not that it's a lesson to be learned, but I definitely take some peace in not saying anything because I, I realize how, I think the word is futile. I don't know the meaning, but I'm pretty sure that's the word, futile. Can you look that up while I'm talking? Yeah, but I, I mean, you want the definition? Yes. So uh, am I using it right? It's, it's something without purpose. It just continues. Right. I think it's, it's futile for me. To, to, to wage a war with every single person that's got something to say about me because it's like at this point, what's the point? What's the fucking point? I'm arguing with a bunch of nobodies. You know, I'm accepting the love and the support that I'm getting and it feels good and it's encouraging and it's nice to know that as many people out there that are trying to knock me off my shit, there are a lot of people who are willing to, to uphold me and catch me and, and put me back uh, where where they where they feel I've always belonged, um, but that is. But you're, but that being said, you're not even arguing with people. These are fake burner accounts. Hardly anyone has the real name or the real profile. But but a lot of them also do have their real name and profile. But either or, it, it it's just pointless because here's the thing: as far as the skit where I kissed the dude, listen, and, and and I got so many, especially black dudes. You know, again, black dudes with the homophobia. Man, that shit gay. No, you I can't. Stop with that. You can explain yourself. You're not my mother. You niggas are not my fucking ninja. Oh, yo, yo, yo. But not my mother and father. I don't <laughs> owe you a motherfucking explanation. I don't owe you shit. And I'm not ashamed of what I did because contextually, it's within a skit that I did for my Showtime special, Hollywood Look, I'm Smiling. The whole point of the camera, Big Bugger Boogaloo, was he was talking about homosexuality and rap. And at that particular time, when I shot it, it was something that was starting to come about. The, 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 the energy was, look, is, is there homosexuality in rap? Is there not? There's always been homosexuality in oh, every yeah. art form of entertainment but in hip-hop that's so taboo that i wanted to 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 make a comedic uh bring some comedic light to the conversation so it was a character so of course oh, yeah, listen yeah. if you gay so the fuck what be happy live your fucking life i don't give a fuck uh much love to our, our gay brothers and sisters all right so that's what fairy, I mean, Aries Spears had to say. Fairies and Aries. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, he was up there. He talking about he don't care. He explaining this up. That's my Fairy. man. <laughs> that's my All man. All I was looking for was the swirl, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, does that? The end, but he said, see, but see, that's what's killing me with that, though, because, you know, um, <laughs> It's like you don't have no dignity about yourself. You don't have no morals. And that's what makes no me morals, upset. No because once you cross that bridge, now you're going through all this. Let me explain myself, blah, blah, blah. No, you should have just never did it. Why sign up for something like that? But, he didn't but that's the same thing with the kids. It's like, why even put yourself in that position? I don't care what kind of skit. You know right from wrong, don't you? You're an adult. Can you know what I mean? If, you, if you're not a homosexual man, why are you playing that role? Exactly. That's and the only true. thing I've been saying. Like, and I mean, some people maybe they look at it like, oh, I want to challenge myself and all this other stuff. But like, at the end of the day, I think that's a bit extreme. I'm sorry, I do. And I feel like if you're gonna if you're gonna stand on that, you're gonna keep that energy in the skit. Keep it when you get off the skit too. Don't be don't be trying to double back because you was kissing that man like he was your man. He that's literally said, that that's my man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, whoa. That's my okay. man. I'm going to stick beside him. Okay. The, that's the energy I got. Real Girl. shit. I mean, and I don't give a fuck if he's gay or not either. Right. Hey, like, we don't care. But it's like, like, but it's just like, damn, if you're not, stand behind, have a little bit of moral and respect about yourself. Though. Mm -hmm. Like, 
You like let somebody who yeah. is homosexual take their role. Yeah, and it's see, just like, like the whole like people who playing black roles that ain't really black. You know what exactly. I'm saying? And it's like, oh, everybody get all up in arms that. about it. We got a problem with that, so why not have a problem with everything else? Mm -hmm. My thing is, you know, um, yeah, like I said, we don't really give a fuck if you're gay or not. Right. But at the end of the day. Sir, what you doing in your bedroom? What you doing like, in your bedroom? At the end of the day, it's all the acting for me. Like, oh, I don't, I'm not this. I'm not that. I don't care about this. I don't care about that. All right. So, um, first of all, why address it? If you are what you are. Like, you you saying it like it don't matter, so why address it? Then secondly, why not address these allegations, though, that y'all supposedly, like, now is dismissed. So I guess you're just looking at it like, yeah, now I really ain't got nothing to say. But shit, like they say on Night and Day Network, nigga, we seen you in the video. It was just. <laughs> <laughs> like, Eyes don't lie. Ain't no changing about that, sir. So what's up? What's I just don't lie. And them <laughs> eyes just right through that newspaper. I was like, and I couldn't even really finish it. That's I was it. so sick. That shit was <laughs> pedal at its finest. Pretty ass New York cat. Pedal Panda. These niggas, no type of black eyes for that shit. Nigga don't feel like he was in the room. Because he said, hell, just a skit. See, if this nigga had kids, I don't know if the nigga got kids or not. Well, he want his son with another grown ass man doing that over his son, putting that, jumping in the bathtub with him and, and, and rubbing each other's body down with oil. Well, he want his son doing that. Uh, they ain't it, Pedo Panda. Pedo Panda. Panda. Yeah, ain't it, Pedo Panda. They ain't it, Pedo Panda. <laughs> the pedaling. The pedaling. The pedaling. The amazing pedaling panda. Panda. Circus act. Mean, Goddamn circus act mean, out here. The amazing pedaling panda. Would y'all let Harry Spears babysit your, your 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 sons? Hell no. That's what I'm saying. All that shit about gender equality yeah. that Monique was talking about. Yeah. Now that they cut her that check, where's she at? Back in. She was trying to get niggas to boycott Netflix for gender equality. Now that now that she's now she's back home at Netflix all of a sudden. Yeah. She she's back home at Netflix. And she's back with Lee Daniels, and that and those checks are coming in. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, with this Hollywood shit, we know, we know, we know none of that shit can be trusted. We know that shit is all about the check. Every last one of these court, we we the celebrities' messages and agendas is poisoning us. The 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 politicians, all they doing is just allowing the corporations to poison us, and the corporations are just straight poisoning us. What, what they? What they showed us with that Tiffany Addison, um, Eric Spears thing, what they're doing is implementing pedophilia into society and making that normal. I've seen them have Ted talk. If y'all know what Ted talk, I've, I've seen them explain that shit on Ted talks and everything. They trying to make, they, and they trying to group it in with the LBGTQA1, whatever the hell they are, alphabet community. They trying to link pedo in there too. Anyway, like they were saying on Night and Day Network, um, in case you, we ain't even going to say in case you missed it because you didn't miss it because we just pulled it up for you. So like they were saying on Night and Day Network, um, they're trying to group maps, minor attractive persons in with the LBGTQ plus community. Mm -hmm. There we go. Did I say it right, Sean? You said it right. Whoever is in that community, y'all let me know if I said it right. I wouldn't mess up y'all, like, you know. No you got to be like the alphabet. No offense. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No offense. I hate trying to it's no LGBTQ saying, but, plus, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, I hope I said it right. But if not, y'all can let me know in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Um, hold on. Pause. Pause. Okay, so. All right, now. Little, we had a little technical difficulty. We had to pause the screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the next segment. So, like I was saying, they trying to group Max in with the LBGT cube plus <laughs> cube T. Girl, this. <laughs> Oh, oh he said God. like it's a spelling bee. L I know y'all fucking hate me because I see something else different, and I think it's one here. It said. T Y girl, I don't know. A B C. 
It's the easiest wound. Too. It ain't that easy. Listen. <laughs> but we about to get into it, though, y'all. I, I, I wish I played. I wish yeah. I played. All right. So, um, <laughs> let me rewind a little bit because I think I, I don't know if I went too far in the hot chat. But y'all know I got all my segment in together. We got it all together. Hold on. Comedic, uh, uh, bring some comedic right. light to the conversation. So, it was a character. So, <clears throat> of course, listen. And if you gay, so the fuck what? Be happy. <laughs> Live your fucking life. I don't give a fuck. Uh, much love to our, our gay brothers and sisters. Don't, don't, don't do that. Anyway, minor attractive person. A neglected population. This is what it said, okay? And this was written on July 27, 2021. So it says, approximately one in five Americans report childhood sexual abuse while 50% to 65% of child sexual abuse occurs in the absence of pedophilic interest and is thought to be driven by additional factors such as the availability of an appropriate sexual partner. A substantial portion of childhood sexual abuse is perpetrated by individuals with pedophilia. However, many individuals with pedophilic interests never have sexual contact with a child or the penal system. This non-offending pedophile group reports a greater prevalence of psychiatric symptoms compared with the general population. But given the intense stigmatization child of their preferences, they are largely psychiatrically underrecognized and under underserved. This article focuses on the unique psychiatric needs of this neglected population by understanding and addressing the treatment needs of psychiatric needs of patients, psychiatrists, and other mental health clinicians can serve a pivotal role in decreasing stigma, promoting wellness, and preventing sexual abuse. Okay. So we're getting into the breakdown of this. Understanding the terminology, DSM-5 defines paraphilia as any intense and persistent sexual interest other than sexual interest in genital stimulation or preparatory fondling with phenotypical, normal, psychologically mature, consenting human partner. The addition of the word disorder to the paraphilia was introduced in DSM-5 to distinguish between paraphilias that are not of clinical concern and paraphilic disorders that cause distress or impairment to the individual, or whereby satisfaction entails personal harm or risk of harm to others. As outlined in DSM-5, pedophilic disorder refers 